In this episode of Tinker Time, the hero will be performing the plastic milk experiment. This only requires hot but not boiling milk and a bit of vinegar. Stir the mixture gently but thoroughly just enough to ensure that the vinegar is evenly distributed throughout the milk. This helps the vinegar react uniformly with all parts of the milk, promoting even curdling. After stirring, let the mixture sit undisturbed for a few minutes. This waiting period allows the curds to form and solidify slightly. Around three minutes later, a sticky goo that resembles melted cheese has formed in the milk. Press and remove as much liquid as possible from the curds before shaping them. The less moisture remaining, the quicker and more effectively they will dry and harden. I got this little thing from one cup of milk. Quite boring, so let's do it in a larger scale. But first, a quick look at the result if you use too much vinegar. Too much vinegar can make the curds too acidic, which might interfere with their ability to clump together properly. This can result in a more fragmented and less cohesive mass, which could be harder to mould and might not dry as well into a solid plastic-like material. For this next batch, I'll be using two litres of milk to see how much curd I'm left with. Now I'll take it to the kitchen and heat it up to near boiling point. For two liters of milk, I'll have to use 10 to 12 tablespoons of vinegar, so I'll use 11. Let's hear the science behind this experiment while waiting for the curds to form. When you add vinegar to warm milk, here's what happens in simple terms. Milk meets vinegar. Milk is made up of water, fat and proteins. One of these proteins is called casein. When you add vinegar, which is an acid, to warm milk, it reacts with the casein protein. Curds form. The acid in the vinegar causes the casein protein in the milk to clump together into lumps called curds. This happens because the acid makes the normally soluble protein become insoluble, causing it to separate from the liquid part of the milk. Separation occurs. The rest of the milk, which is mostly water, is left as a liquid called whey. This liquid can be strained away, leaving behind the solid curds. You can then press these curds together, remove as much liquid as possible and shape them. When left to dry, they harden into a plastic-like material. The process of making some types of cheese involves a similar principle to what happens when you add vinegar to milk. Making cheese starts by curdling milk. However, instead of vinegar, cheese making often uses a bacterial culture and an enzyme called rennet. These ingredients help curdle the milk by separating it into solid curds and liquid whey, similar to what vinegar does. Now I have made some useless shapes and it's supposed to take some days before it hardens fully. 
I'll put it away and give it two to three days and see what happens. It took a while longer for the things to harden, probably due to the thickness which made a crust that prevented the moist on the inside from evaporating. It does indeed feel and act a bit as plastic. Probably close to cutting my finger several times here. I can't work under these conditions. It feels too cheesy. This is like a beef in Thailand due to the crust preventing the moist on the inside from evaporating. It would have to be thinner to become like plastic. Well, that's it for this little experiment that resulted in something utterly useless.